yo, welcome back, man. First smoke of the day, episode 20. Big, big, big legendary episode today. We're live in the Cookies Lounge right here in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Joined by my co-host, Black Leaf. What up? Pat God's checking in. Man, super special guest and uh, super honored for the time and uh, just to be able to connect and, and talk with this man. And uh, we welcome Joa from Greenhouse Seco. How are you, brother? Yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you very much for coming. Absolutely, bro. Thank yeah. you for having us in this beautiful lounge you created. Yeah, man. You're so welcome. stoked yeah. to have you here, man. I, yeah. This is legendary. Yeah, I mean, we're, we got Strain Hunters pictures on the wall. We got videos going through huge grows. Big burners in the Dior with the cookies chain on the on the picture on the wall. Yeah. Super we got the cool. cookies light on the roof. A lot of details in the shop. And that photo over there is in, in Morocco. And actually, believe it or not, it's without any filter. Wow. It's, it's just like this. Arjan, you know? Strain yeah. Hunters. Shout out to Strain Hunters. In a fee, oh, a, literally the half of a mountainside of cannabis. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's yeah. a great photo. And we got some big flavors in front of us too. Yeah. I, I, love, mean, I love it. We got Marijuana Mania playing in the background on YouTube. This is the kind of experience you want when you come into a lounge and you want to smoke some herb and smoke some of the best herb too. So Joe, without further ado, brother, just... Appreciate having you on, man. Yeah, uh, man. Thank you very much. What do you got going on? What are you up to today? Uh, talking with you guys. <laughs> you got you for the whole day. I like day? it. I like it. I you know, like it. Yeah, Talk I to mean, us about some of these flavors that you picked out to give us a roll up. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. What are you Let's grab them. Let's there? show them. It's the cookies so, and cream. Yeah. So that's that's a really nice one. Uh, that's like a Kali strain grown in the Netherlands. Good you nose. Know, we, we've been around for a long time and then... Uh, the Dutch were, you know, had the, the strong uh, strains in the, you know, in the, in the 90s and then 2000, everything. Well, still, of course, but then, and then Kali caught up, you know, in, in, a, in a big way, <laughs> <laughs> I can say. And then, uh, so now we're catching up and, and uh, now we caught up actually. So now, you know, you see like these that. really nice strains in America and, and I really like that, you know, I really like the, sometimes on social media, you see a little bit like the two sides. I'm like, why? There's, there's no two sides, man. It's united. Exactly. It's like one, 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 one world, you know, one, one, uh, one love for, for cannabis. So um, I, I like it this way. Yeah. I think we're all fighting similar battles. Yeah. We all yeah. want the things we don't have. Like, I yeah. mean, the coffee shops here, we would love to have these. We yeah, have yeah. nothing like no, this, no. you know, and then the cultivation laws, I'm sure you guys would yeah, absolutely yeah. love. And sometimes on uh, social media, you see what well, we're posting something and then uh, somebody is commenting like, well, there's the stuff in America is much better, you know, in California. And then you want to say this whole story, but you're not going to even bother, <laughs> you know, but I'm like, Hey, I went to, I went to San Diego in the nineties, right? 93, 94. I, I studied there for one year, stayed in San Diego, Los Angeles. Uh, and back in the day, me as a, kind of a tourist or like a guy from Amsterdam, I was looking for weed. The best I could find was like some Mexican <laughs> some oh, shit, you man. know? And then uh, later, after a couple of months, I saw some guys for, with medical cannabis, you know, and guys that were connected with normal and everything. I got more into the cannabis, like vibe you and met, You culture. met some surfers. Yeah, I met some surfers, <laughs> you know, so I kind of, uh, you know, upgraded. Yeah. But then, uh, look, if I had the context I have now, it wouldn't be a problem. I would, you know, call my friends and uh, we'd we'll be smoking good weed. But back in the day, if you would come to Amsterdam in 93, 94, you could go to the coffee shop and buy some Master Kush or Smell like, good. you know, uh, later on the, the hazes and everything, you know. So, okay, America is, is doing really good, but they should, right? I mean, it's it's legal. So why why wouldn't you grow great weed? Yeah. You know, if it's legal. I feel, it is. I feel like it's two different experiences and you, you got to appreciate every place for what they offer. Because even in America, when you go within the States, much different experiences yeah. within the shop, within what you can do, within yeah. what you can buy, all these things. So yeah. I feel like you got kind of got to appreciate everywhere for what they got and what they're doing, but it's definitely got a ways to go. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting. Like, it's interesting what's going on here now. You guys are doing somewhat of like a test run or something. Uh, with some licensing. Oh yeah, yeah, or? yeah. There's a, they call it the experiment. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, we've been fighting to legalize to for uh, for for decades. You know, and uh, as for some political parties, it's just too scary, so they don't want to want to do it. So, uh, what they came down with is is like an experiment in in ten cities, and seventy nine coffee shops are entering. 
uh, and they gave out 10 licenses to supply the, the coffee shops with uh, with legal weed, basically. Okay. Know? So wow. they're like in the process of starting this up. So maybe we within one year, two years, maybe we will have the sale of the first legal weed in, uh, in the Netherlands. Because like you guys experienced probably when you came here, you thought Amsterdam, everything is, you know, legal and everything. But the opposite is true. Yeah, absolutely. It's very not easy to grow here. It's not easy to have all the background stuff. And it, it's really cool to see you guys thriving, man. I mean, this is a vibe and, yeah. and the strains too. I see the Mac over there. Yeah. And, and there's some rich history with that. I hear. Yeah. The Mac, the Mac is really nice. Uh, um, I, I was working with Aryan at the uh, Emerald cup uh, a couple of years ago where we could still travel. <laughs> and uh, we were speaking with Capulator who made the cat, uh, the Mac obviously. No, and, and he used the, our super lemon haze in a lot of his trains. So, you know, is that, that's just great to hear, you know, Absolutely. Yeah, we, were, we were chatting and everything. And I don't know if you've been to the Emerald Cup, but Absolutely. His, yeah. every his year booth, in the last three yeah. years. So, you years. know, his booth had like a three hour long line, you know, with people uh, <laughs> waiting to be served. And then he's got the hat on. And he's with got the, the hat on outfit. and everything. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And, and then, and then uh, uh, we, we passed by and we got, you know, we were chatting at him at some point. I was like, hey, dude, you need to help the people, man. There's like a three hour line in front. He, he's, you know, so big in uh, at the Emerald Cup, you know. So, yeah, it's a really it's an crazy. honor also to uh, for him to to say that, you know, and it's it's not nice to see because uh you know, you know we're all fishing in the same pond right with Absolutely. the strange and everything and we're all trying to create something really beautiful and then if something happens and this you can see the mac is already it's already a legendary strain yes you it know? is you can see it's already a classic you know so yeah that's that's really nice you know it's funny because it's like uh Amsterdam growers and Dutch growers, right, are looking for Cali right now. And yeah. I feel like a lot of Cali growers are looking for old Dutch genetics, yeah, yeah. like hazes. Yeah. And I mean, Buddha cheese, Exodus yeah. cheese, you know, like you name the cheeses that uh, they're going after everything. It's yeah, funny yeah. how uh, life is always uh, you always looking for the the other side. Yeah, you know, yeah. life's always greener. Yeah. 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 And I, I like where it's still going. You know, it's like uh, we, we're not done yet. Not I mean, never done. But uh, when we when we were at the Emerald Cup and we see our friends and see Junkie and everybody and they put out like 35 different jar, jar, jars with with all different flavors. And it's like literally every jar is a different fucking flavor. You know? Crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so flavors it's, it's, are that, crazy. Yeah, that's amazing, man. And then this was two years ago. So now you have more of the fruity flavors, mm -hmm. but then you did not what's more gassy, right? Two years ago. So then yeah. so you're like, wow, this is great, man. Like pineapple and like all the we, we talk We talk about it now. The new wave is candy gas. Candy gas, like yeah. Like Skittles yeah. with like gas. And it's just, or it runs with gas or like something, the lemon cherry flavors, type. but with yeah. that Candy. gasoline back. So when yeah. you hit yeah. it, it grabs yeah. your chest and won't let you go, yeah. Yeah. but you still get the flavor because yeah. we had the gas. And then we were like, we got something new, which was the, the fruits and the flavors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we want both. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want it to taste like pineapple, but hit us like OG, yeah, yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. That's like the. It's awesome, man. And, and it's amazing to see some of the fire weed here. People, yeah. I won't lie. A lot of people um, say, oh, well, Cali's got this, or, you know, and they buff up their chest and they yeah, tell yeah. you this. I'm appreciating so much fire out here. Yeah, yeah. Even the hashish. Yeah. I'm enjoying all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, and then amazing Dutch growers, yeah. guys that care so much. Nothing's different. It's all no. the same, like you say. And and you need to realize when, when people say that, and, and maybe we can reach some people by saying this, you know, don't forget that these Kali strains that I show you here, this Wonder Pie and, uh, you know, which is an amazing strain as well. It's a wedding cake times OG Kush. Um, re really, really nice flavor. Uh, and that cookies and cream is grown here. But here, the situation, where, what, what you see here is kind of legal. It's tolerated. It's not even legal, you know? But so the guys that grow this do it in a really, you know, uh, difficult situation, right? Yeah. If they get caught, they get kicked out of their house. If they have children, they go to, you know, protected service they, or, you know, what you call child, uh, you know. Right, right. And uh, um, if you have a job in security, you lose your job. You know, if you rent a house, you're five <laughs> years on the black uh, list. To, to, you can't rent another house. You know, this is pretty serious problems, you know. And 10 years ago, it wasn't Man. like this. If you were caught uh, 10 years ago with two kilos or a couple of plants, it was like a slap on the wrist, you know. And it was hey man never do it again and you're like oh man i'm sorry you do it one more time they catch you again and then and then you s stop you choose choose a different path you know but yeah. but now it's first man. time you're in 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 deep 
uh, deep problems, you know? So if you compare that to like the facility, well, you guys have a facility in California, right? If you walk around there, give us a few rooms where we can innovate and we can cross strains and, and, uh, pheno hunt and, you know, make, make new strains. We'll be ecstatic, you know, we'll be, uh, over the moon. Oh you know? man. And then you take the Dutch genetics and we start to tinker yeah. with the Cali genetics yeah, yeah. and start to weave and dodge yeah, yeah. and duck and yeah, you know, yeah. all, what you guys do best. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, basically the people that think in the two, two sides, you know, like this one is better or that one is better. No, no man, it should be one situation all over the world. It should be legal everywhere it's a global and thing. nobody should go to, to jail and nobody should be in prison, you know, and nobody should uh, get into problems and everybody that want to smoke should get it you know, freely and in, in a, you know, in a sensible way, you know, some of the original Absolutely. breeders would go out and get them the, you know, the land race strains, bring them back and then start to breed certain ones together. Yeah. So that's happened from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. It's just the new, some of the new guys that haven't seen the collaboration and the passion between people that doesn't change. I'm meeting guys out here that, you know, we connect on the weed level and yeah. it's, it's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I won't lie. The hospitality here where you can get a green tea and yeah. I can sit here with you, you know, and I'm in the lounge and I'm getting the hospitality is not like anywhere else I've ever been. No, no. It's nice. No, but I think uh, in that way, you guys are catching up. No, I think there's some lounges. I was in uh, San Francisco a couple of years ago. Um, Bob, 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 that's a good one. Uh, that's, that's like the only good, you know, that's beginning. the best one in all of California. Yeah, probably yeah. one of them. Yeah. You know, but it's I, not I, like I this. heard of some plans that, uh, you know, it's like Las uh, Vegas is I, supposed I, to be coming I, online with lounges. Yeah. I think that could be, you know, a big play for sure. Yeah, yeah. If they can get it right, they could be the model that other states could follow for mm. sure. And then, you know, I mean, I think anybody should model Amsterdam. Yeah. You guys have too. the coffee shop lounge down. Perfect. Yeah. And it's kind of funny what you said earlier about if, uh, if a Cali brand gave you some space in there, you would love that. I feel, I, I feel the same way for Cali brands over here. You know what I mean? That like them having a footprint in here and yeah. being able to send one of their people yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And some, well, you know what yeah. I mean? So I, I feel like it's mutual, yeah. you know what I mean? And that there, there is a connection there and that it'll come together. Cause it's like you say, it, it's a global thing. Yeah. Like in, with the strain hunters, I mean, you guys have made it very, very clear that this is uh it's all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so that's pretty, I like that. And yeah. I, I, I'm excited for the future of that. And what, yeah, it, what it, you know, it, it will happen, you know, like I said, I, I started with INA in 1995, so it's a while ago. And uh, back then I, I was just a butt tender, basically, you know, started as a butt tender, needed to pay the rent. It's good for people and, to hear. Yeah, yeah and then, and I'm, I'm still around, you know, and, uh, and, and I can tell you every, every year it was different. You know, we've been through medical cannabis, uh, I understand, started strain hunters, we've done different projects and then this uh, country started to legalize in that country and, uh, so many different things. And, and still every year things are different, you know, now Absolutely. last year, uh, uh, Thailand came to us for consultancy. It was like, Oh wow. wow man, who, whoever would have expected that like 10 years That's ago, amazing. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. What's no. that? Have you guys been out there to check things out or? Yeah, our, well, we have a medical uh, company kind of uh, where we have a guy we're, we're working, a professor, and he, he's doing a lot of research on cannabinoids. Um, there's been done a lot of research, of course, he's kind of like categorizing everything and, you know, uh, giving um, colleges and at universities and everything. So he went there also to Thailand because sometimes first you have to inform the government and they need to get all right. this information. Of course, you have to take away the stigma of, of cannabis, right. you know, exactly. and, and uh put it in through that uh, angle from that perspective, you know, is there any other areas or places outside of the country that you're, that you've been working with or, or focusing on or looking at for uh, well, expansion? Well, before COVID, uh, well, we, we have a thing in, in Canada. Yeah. That's a, that's a whole different story. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> that's I love know that. <laughs> you know, that's it's awesome uh, enough. Leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that. Let, yeah. Let's just say people people, dope, people think with, with millions on the bank or even billions, they think they can make cannabis a success. And no, actually four years later, we find out that, well, I, I, we knew it from the beginning, of course, because you can't buy you know, the, the respect and you can't buy, you know, cannabis right. culture is like culture. hip hop culture or skateboard culture. You can't buy the originality, you know, the, no, how you do you can't. say that, you know, le, le, you, 
the, yeah, legitimacy. And, yeah, you can't. You, it's not for sale. Even if you give Snoop Dogg like ten million bucks to doesn't matter. Put his face that, on that a work. bag of weed. If 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 the weed is shit, nobody's gonna buy it. You 100%. know, hundred percent. So uh, so that that's good to find out. You know, so even if Coca Cola would enter with uh, I don't know like how many billions they have, they still have to work hard to gain the respect of everything. You know, the respect goes through Absolutely. the cannabis. So um so so they are learning a lot of lessons. So um yeah, we are there also seeing I mean, of course it's also great that they legalized we're the first to legalize in a federal way, yeah. We have to give them also some uh Respect for that, of course. And going that, big. That, yeah. Very big. Yeah, that's really great, you know? So, I mean, they are kind of the first, so it's easy to say they're doing it wrong, but of course, uh, you know, they, they they are the first to do that big. I can yeah. imagine if America goes legal federally, I mean, there will be some Stocks fuck ups, you know, along the way for some yeah. countries, you know? It'll be crazy. There'll be a lot, a lot of people are talking about uh, state to state too, like, cause California, mm. can we get, are they, are they still going to want California? Interstate, and then, yeah. yeah. And then how much will it be taxed? And that's all the crazy stuff, man. But yeah, yeah I, I, it's funny cause uh, the grass is always greener. Yeah. We love it here. Yeah. 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 And man. then uh, other countries are um, uh, in, uh, of course, in the States, you know? Uh, Absolutely. Talk to us about the States. What, what do you guys have going on over there? Well, we are, we are there for a while, but it's, it's not easy. You know, you guys it's have not. a facility, you know how state. it is. Yeah. And, uh, and, and first of all, you need to find the right partners. Yep. That's the most important thing. Cause like I said, we would in all, life. Yeah. In li- <laughs> yeah, 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 really. Isn't life, that you know? the truth? Yeah. So for, for us, it's really uh, simple to find the right partners. You know, we have to be able to go for dinner somewhere and just to be straight with each other and, and uh, you know, honest. And uh, that, that's already half the job, you know, go off and your the instinct. business side will sort itself out. Absolutely. You never take it from the other way when, People come to us with like the opportunity, you know, the golden ticket and everything. We it doesn't don't, work we like don't, that. No, we don't go for that. So, and yeah. you've pe- learned pe- that in business. Pe- That's a time tested thing. Pe- people yeah. should know it. Yeah. yeah. In the, the beginning, it's pretty funny because when I was uh, like, like, like 10 years ago or 12 years ago, when it kind of started in, in, uh, in the States, right? In California and everything, there were already people with a lot of money coming here, but there was a lot of, uh, yeah, there were all, all kinds of businessmen, right? So, of, co- of course, they, they have money. They don't have brands. And we have genetics since, you know, the seed company is from 1985, right? So we have the, the classic. So obviously, we get people coming in, approaching us. And co- and the first meetings we had, I was, it was a summary, summer, summary day like this. And I was with, uh, with my flip-flops and iron, you know, with shorts and everything. <laughs> we just went to a meeting and there were like <laughs> six <laughs> lawyers sitting there and, and, and the businessman doing his presentation. And we were like looking at each other like what the fuck is this man where's this where's this business going you know yeah so um yeah we 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 heard a lot of those stories and a lot of people came to us but uh, yeah like i said finding the right partner so uh, is is essential right so i was traveling a lot through california nevada you know and and being with friends i would prefer to do it with friends and just have a have a people that you've known yeah and have a great story and it's not about the money it's just about you know spreading and then uh doing something great you know yeah absolutely building something amazing that even last past you yeah you know yeah yeah Yeah. i can i can tell you have good style and you've got like youthful taste how have you like kind of stay connected with like what's going on with the younger people and the new waves. And uh, are you saying the, I'm old then? No, no, not at all. Not <laughs> the at all. The not at all. But I'm just saying that it stands out that, you know, right away the brand you wear and, and the way you, you are, I can tell that, you know, you're, you're a tastemaker and, and that hasn't changed. So yeah. how have you managed to stay connected to that and like, you know, incorporate it in things like, you know, the inspiration to do, you know, re- renovate and do like the cookies lounge and take yeah. that route. Like what made you want to make that decision and go that route? Yeah. Well, in the beginning, when we, when you know when I came from the states and I saw I saw what cannabis was over there, you know, I realized that I, I grew up in Amsterdam. I was actually born here around the corner of this place wow, on awesome. this canal, you know, wow. and uh, back in the seventies. But then it was a different area. I can tell you, it wasn't like Porsche like it is now, <laughs> right? right. And, uh, and it was more like a ghetto. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's how you know? start. <laughs> and uh, and then. Um, and then I realized we we have a coffee shop culture, you know, in Amsterdam back in the day, especially, you know, and, uh, we, you know, we, for us, it was normal to buy weed and to buy hash and, and, uh, we, we play pool and then play some foosball, you know, and, uh, and be with friends. And, and that was our, our 
cannabis culture. You know, it wasn't about, hey man, what, you know, what, uh, what's the father what of this train? Got, Where yeah. does it come from? Is that like a Panama red crossed with mm, this just, one? You I know? got weed. Yeah. And, and yeah, exactly. And it was kind of normal to just buy it, you know? So when I was there and I couldn't find any, I got more, you know, into, you know, met some service, like you said, and, uh, and, and, and got more into the cannabis culture. And I, I saw that there, there's a difference, you know? There and, is. and I just, I was always in coffee shops and smoke weed and hash and, you know, I wasn't in bars drinking a lot and, I had a great youth, you know, I was, you know, you don't see any aggression. It's just like being in Amsterdam. I had the, be the best childhood, you know, Absolutely. can't complain. Yeah. I see if you, if you know, I just, I don't know. I stand by the product, man. I just love it. You know? Yeah. And, uh, you, you, you've managed to, you know, allow it to keep you young throughout your, your journey for sure. Yeah. And then, um, always being involved with that, that those kind of things. I noticed the people, even, even if the people we work with are getting younger, you know, it's like, sometimes I notice it, of course, like, right. if, you know, and I'm in a podcast and there's some 19 year old hip hop guys. So I'm thinking, Hey, he's like, you know, I'm like triple his age, but, <laughs> but, but at the same time, I realize it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know? Experience. So, so, um, um, I'm really ignoring, uh, one feeds aging. the other and it's vice versa. Yeah, it's yeah. necessary. Yeah. Exactly. But so, you, so I feel like some people in business, they resist it and then other people embrace it. Yeah. And the people that embrace it, it's just real interesting. Like the difference, yeah. you know, in that, and that they, they, they keep evolving with it. You no were the first what. to do this. Yeah. Other, other, I mean, everyone saw the same things you saw, yeah. you know, yeah, but yeah. you guys were the first to, to say, yeah. you know what, let's, let's completely, we're going to do a collaboration project. We're going to yeah. strain hunters cookies. Yeah. Boom, yeah. Amsterdam, unbelievable. Yeah. But this is also a friendship thing and not a business thing, right? So when I was, oh. uh, when we were renovating the shops and then uh, Werner was, was coming to Amsterdam already like long time, like when we opened this shop, he put a post on his, uh, on his uh, Instagram. Like when he came here as an 18 year old boy, you know, to yeah. High Times Cannabis Cup and he used to come in the shop and, uh, you know, when, when. Back in the days when we had the high times cannabis cups, we would sit with everybody. We'd say, yeah. hey, bro, where are you from? You know, because some guys came from a small city in Texas, you yep. know, back in the 90s was like so super fucking illegal. He, his parents were in jail. The guy had to save up 10 years to buy a plane ticket. You know, it's like amazing stories, you know. So we were talking with everybody and Berna came and we were chatting with him and he remembered. And, uh, you know, we... we we, we stay in contact always, you know, so from way wow. before, way before cookies. And then, uh, um, and then when cookies happened, of course, as well, you know, uh, when he was here in Amsterdam a while ago, we were having dinner and, uh, he has this lemonade line and we have the super lemonades, right? So we're smoking, so smoking some good weed and everything. We're like, Hey bro, why, why we don't do the super lemonade? Some super, we make a super lemonade, you know? And like, wow, we're great, you know? So now we're working with him to, to see how we can create some, we use our super lemon haze for, to create some new strains wow, uh, like and just that. see what, what comes out of that. But it's very casual. I must say, yeah, it's no, you know, sometimes, no, dope, sometimes though. maybe cool. too, ca I mean, too casual, you know, because <laughs> yeah. we, you know, we're not like, maybe sometimes we need to be more like, you know, on with the, de deadlines and, uh, and you guys are because, breaking bounds though. Yeah. Yeah. You're breaking yeah. bounds. I and think, and, uh, and I think the important moves are happening. We're sitting in it. Yeah, you know I think I mean? so too. So, and, and like that, it works the best, you know? Absolutely. So when we were, uh, when COVID started, of course, traveling stopped, you know, like for everybody in the whole world. And then uh, we, we used our time to, to re uh, renovate the shops, you know? So we, we did one by one. Very smart. And then uh, when we, we did this shop, it was, uh, we were renovating here. And uh, I was talking with Werner about, you know, starting doing a dispensary in, uh, in Amsterdam or a coffee shop, you know? But it's a difficult situation. So I was just shooting him a video from this uh, space, this uh, room. Wow. So how about, you know, we create your own lounge so that when you come to Amsterdam, you have your own place and, you know, we, uh, we have something together. And it's Smart. no, like, no, no contracts, no, no, nothing. It's just wow, a fr handshake friendship, deal. friendship thing. Yeah, you know? That's wow. amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's huge. Yeah, so that's really great, you know? Wow, that's, that's huge, man. Mm. And I'm, man, and I'm That's stoked. almost unheard of, too, but that's really dope because you know, two completely different countries and, and cultures. And, you know, yeah. that, that, that goes to show you right there. That's, that's the type of stuff that needs to happen in the, in the community for sure. And he started off with saying it's about the relationship more than it is the business. And you said it's, you know, he's since 18, that's some years. Yeah. yeah it serious. just shows you that they live by that. That's not just a saying. And it's that, not you know, just nothing a happens overnight. Yeah. Nothing yeah. happens overnight. This definitely didn't happen overnight.
Uh-huh. I got to watch this. This is like the most is, mo- yeah, mo- modern vibe, new age shop that like, this is like what Cali would hope to have for a smoking lounge. Yeah. You yeah. know, so think, you yeah. guys did an amazing job. Well, send us an invitation and we'll come. Hey, we, oh, man. Man. <laughs> we, need, we need you to come over and talk to some, some lawmakers and politicians over there and yeah. spend some time over there too. Yeah. Yeah. They gave out some licenses though in LA, yeah, right? In West I, I Hollywood. Think that, yeah, absolutely. Eight and, of them, I think. And I they think they already I, built some or uh, uh, two of it's them. It's interesting. I, one of them's built, and then the second one I think is under construction. Um, but it's not this. Yeah, no, it's I'm not, gonna it's be not, honest. No, it's it's not. not, and it's and and everyone talks about yeah, that yeah. point of it. That yeah. is not this, and yeah. they've already had to rebrand once. Yeah, and yeah. they've haven't been open a year. Yeah, yeah. So it's very it's very interesting. It's yeah, it's gonna it's, figure yeah. its way out, and it's gonna yeah. struggle. Yeah. You really can't be both right now. Like cookie shops can't be a cookie. They can't have a lounge there. You know, so it's oh. like weird. You know, it's this weird thing. And now, but, it, honestly, in uh, with the lounge market, it's almost like separate companies got into it. They weren't. They aren't the cannabis companies. No, that's not. So no. it's 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 yeah. a very it's interesting thing. Yeah. And eight of them throughout yeah. uh, West Hollywood. Yeah. And nowhere else in like Southern California. We've only seen one pop up. It was besides <clears throat> the desert. Yeah. And they rebranded uh, Cannabis Cafe. Yeah. So yeah, and, and uh, the restaurant I was in the restaurant one time. That's on, the one. Uh, on, yeah, where you could uh, yep, exactly. What was it called? Lowell's. Oh, the, yeah, oh, Lowell's, Lowell's, and then OG rebranded. Cannabis Cafe yeah, they, is what it is yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very yeah. nice, very nice. But I'm gonna be honest, we've been enjoying it so much. Here. Yeah, it's different. And it you is know different. what? With the with the COVID, we had a um, it was had a major impact in the Netherlands. Also, I mean, everything was shut down. There was a lockdown. You you could not recognize the city. It was like a ghost town. Like. From here to the center was nobody on the street. It was uh, like that everywhere. Yeah. And, and, it, and actually, it was funny. I'm getting from one to the other. It doesn't matter. We're smoking anyway. So no, we're good. And, uh, <laughs> so we're what good. was funny is in the, in the first day on a Sunday, I remember at 5:30, the prime minister came on television and he said, "Hey guys, it's going really bad." In my words, uh, we have to shut down everything at six o'clock, right? So what happened? That it, Everybody was thinking, wow, I, have to, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm going to go to the coffee shop. So there were like huge lines in front of the coffee shop, you know, like, but like hundreds out of, of people, nowhere, out we, of nowhere. We heard about this. Hour. Yeah. You probably saw it because it became, well, you know, it yeah, was in the yeah. media and the world. We just heard. Everyone's then, telling yeah, us too. And then the good thing was, of course, that now the politicians couldn't, they had to face fact, right? I mean. Everybody loves weed. A lot of people love weed, you know, and that's, that's, and so we were. Uh, and then what you saw was immediately, actually, uh, illegal like dealers were handing out menus in the line, you know, in the in the, with the, to the people, you know, offering everything like, but not just hash and weed, oh. but other, other drugs yeah. as well. So like down see, in red light, yeah. Yeah, and that's exactly what we. That's why we have this system originally, you know, to separate the two. So the good thing was that one day later, 24 hours later, we were declared essential business, you know, because I would, <laughs> I, 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 I would really God. like to see those discussions in, uh, you know, in, uh, in The Hague where the, the government is like, what the fuck is going on, man? So many people in front of the shop. <laughs> yeah. Literally. You know, so, um, that was funny. So then we were essential business and then... Um, what did I want to say during COVID? Oh yeah, then uh, what you saw was a lot of, uh, so, but it was only open for takeaway. So the Got hospitality it. part was closed, right? So uh, what you what you saw that a lot of coffee shop owners also were like, not everybody came in through the cannabis door. You know what I mean? You can get into the coffee shop business in a different way. So some had a bar and sold weed and they turned their bar into, you know, but they're not cannabis real, you know, everybody in this, in a different way, right? Right. Uh, so some were like, Hey, I, d- I don't mind this takeaway business. Right? And it's like much, much easier. Don't have all the headache from, you know, people with, who are sick and you less know, expenses. The- yeah, yeah. It became yeah, a yeah. whole, it became a whole business model. Yeah. Like they have it where it's one kitchen, but like 14 brands and they're all on Postmates and Uber Eats and mm. all these different things. And it's called like a ghost kitchen. Yeah. And so Crazy. that's a whole new hospitality model now. Yeah. And it's just like. Thai brands, um, Mexican brand, like it's just different cuisines yeah, yeah. of foods yeah. and different brands, and they just pop up. Delivery only, takeout only. What do you think about it, though? I mean, no, I, I, it's pretty I, crazy. Yeah, there were some discussions, you know, like, hey, this is kind of great. I was like, no, this is not because this is not cannabis culture. There's you no, know? there's no. What we talked about when we came over here is that you guys still have a social society in the U.S. We have yeah. a much less social society. Yeah, it's people sitting on their phones and not really being social or interacting or yeah, being yeah. present in the moment. Yeah, here when I take a stroll, when I look around, most of the city's riding bikes. Number yeah. one, 
And then number two, people are really conversating and, and communicating yeah. and having tea, having coffee, having food, walking and talking. No one's really just sitting on their phone, staring at their phone. I haven't really seen that here at all. Uh, one percent. Uh, it's not the culture. No. So the lounge it, culture represents that too, because look, I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah, Everyone's every, hanging everybody's out, interacting and stuff. And we I, met think, I, 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 I think for, for, well, actually I was uh, seeing the news yesterday in Chicago, some terrible stuff going on, you know, a lot of shootings and everything at the moment, mm. like record numbers, so, which is really bad. And I think what you guys need is that, right? I mean, a coffee shop like this, if we look out, Place out to go. if we look down and see who's in the shop, I can bet you hundred bucks. There's people from different religions, different backgrounds, rich, young, uh, rich, poor, young, old, e everybody is a mix of people sitting downstairs. And the funny part is everybody's socializing with each other, you know, and, and actually that's Happily. kind of unique. You don't really see that anywhere in the world, you know, no, not at all. No, you really don't. We've been meeting no. growers and, and people from everywhere. I mean, yeah. Germany, where the last session we passed a joint to some Germans. Yeah, we just talked from France. Yeah, they're from friends. all over yeah. and they're they're coming here to enjoy their smoke and yeah. enjoy their time together and yeah. just relax. Like it's, it's it's it is a totally different society. And it's good to see that um, it's very it's probably one of the most social societies that you can come to and visit. I'd love to and hear about accepted. how you made your way up. You, you said you started as a bud tender. Uh, yeah. I think people, I'm being honest, people want to know what, that. Like, what was your, yeah. what was your first time smoking weed? <laughs> oh.